Hey yo, what's up people? They call me Joel Amadi. That's my real name. And my stage name is Joel. I am from Kaduna State and I welcome you guys to my music and I on Sound City. Uh, I'm a musician signed to a known record label called Kenneth Music, number one West Africa. And of course, my album is out. Yes, yes, yeah. The title is Timeless and it has uh, 19 tracks in the album. I have seven collaborations on the album. Two Face Dibia, Odisha Femi, Fino, Iyanya, Terry G, B. Howard, and J. Martin. One love, man. Go and get your copy. Baby. I'm going to give you guys five songs of the album that I just dropped titled Timeless, Kenny's Music Record Label. Number one is You Are In Love, which is a love song. The video was shot by Unlimited LA in Obudu, Cross River State, Nigeria. The song was produced by Hakim in the Gambia, 2013. The inspiration behind the song came from the producer himself, Hakim. He made the beat and then laid the flows. I also got assistance from my record label mates. Capital Femi, you know, who is a very talented R&B artist. We decided to title it You Are In Love because everybody is in love. Everyone is in love with one thing or the other. You know what I mean? So whatever it is that you're in love with, we're just trying to encourage you that love is a beautiful thing, you know. So that's just the concept behind the song. Oya Now, I featured Orisha Femi on that one. A talented artist, I would say, who inspired me that day in the studio as well. And the video was shot also by Unlimited LA in Lagos. And the concept behind the song, I've always wanted to do a song with Orisha Femi. So fortunately, I was in the studio and Mr. OJB came up with a couple of beats. And I listened to this particular one. I was inspired to do something on it. So we were thinking who to put on the song. And then I said Orisha Femi. You know what I mean? So he recorded this part. Oya Now became a hit. I don't mind a classic love song. The video was shot 2010, sorry, when I got signed to Kenny's Music. It was shot by one of the best directors we have in Africa. Uh, his name is Clarence Peters. The song has a very strong concept behind it. You know, sometimes some people try to discriminate and then try to make you feel like you're not the best, you're not pretty, you're not handsome, you're not good. You know, try to bring you down. So I was just trying to encourage both the boys and the girls. Uh, that one is titled I Know Mine, you know, and then uh, it was produced by Mastercraft, my first official single from Kenny's Music. Onye was produced by OJB, uh, shot in South Africa by Godfather. And then the video came out and did very well, it was well played. We got pretty models in South Africa that we used in the video. And then the concept behind the song, OJB wrote the song. OJB wrote the song for me. And then um, I heard the song and he said, Joel, listen to this song if you're going to like it. So I listened to the song and I liked the lyrics of the song and the beat of the song. So um, I decided to, you know, revoice the song just the way he did his own, you know. Uh, so I think OJB was just the inspiration behind the song. Just hold on and be strong song is titled Hold On. It was produced, uh, produced also in the Gambia by Hakim and then the video was shot by Clarence Peters. Uh, Hold On is an inspirational song. In the video we're trying to talk to people. We're trying to pass a very strong message to people. The, the song and the video actually came out when things were a little bit rough in the country. A lot of people were scared. The whole Boko Haram stuff, no money stuff, no light stuff, fuel scarcity stuff, you know, a lot of stuff were going on. So we're just trying to talk to people, you know, on that song that is titled Just Hold On and Be Strong. It won't be long, it will be alright. Just hold on. You know, it won't be long, it's gonna be alright. Whatever you do, whatever hustle you do, you're in school. You're, you're being uh, suppressed or oppressed or being talked to anyhow by your boss or just saying hold on just try to be strong whatever you do is gonna be, be all right at the end of the tunnel so that was just the message behind the song internationally i still want to work with just this man r kelly if i work with r kelly i believe it will open doors for me to feature every other international artist but r kelly is still one man I want to work with before he dies because everybody will die and before I die too. But I just want to work with that man. For me, it's going to be a very great achievement so far once I work with him. And then uh, in Nigeria or locally, 
I want to work with every one of them. Every made artist from this kid, the video, P Square, to Baba again, Rich Femi, everybody because it's not easy. I'm working hard to get to where they are. You understand? And now they are there before me. They are living my dream. So I want to work with all of them. If I could have my way, one day cool, Patoranki, everybody. So I guess, but it, it can't happen at once. So with time, I've worked with about seven of them now. So I guess my next album or next single, I'll pick one, work with, work with, work with, until I get to my final destination. I wouldn't make my pain. My best performance would be the first day I performed at the Cent uh, Centage Superstar. That was in 2010, a day before I got signed to Kenny's Music. You know, I performed there. A lot of people even thought I was a part of the contestants that were there. So that was my first performance. I would say it's still my best because it gave me that confidence that I, co I could actually do it. It was the first time I did it in Lagos and then everybody came backstage and were like, Joel, you did well, Joel, you're good. Keep it up, de -de 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 -de, da -da 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 -da, blah blah blah. So I was encouraged. For me, it was it was my best, you know. Even though I've had a couple of shows I went to, a lot of shows I went to, and then people were feeling me, screaming. I know it's a normal thing to happen, but the fact that I was welcomed and and then encouraged, you know, on that show, I feel very very happy about it. And then my worst performance. Um, permit me to say this. I was I would say it was at Industry Night. It was funny though. I would have loved to use the word funny, but let me just say my worst performance was, was at Industry Night. All right, your people, so far you have been watching my music and I on Sound City with your homeboy, Joel Kenny's music number one. Man, but it's time to sign out, you know what I mean? You know, so a um, man got to go. So I just want to appreciate you guys, my fans, you know, for standing strong by me, for you know, making my dreams uh, come true. I really appreciate you guys. I just want to say in returns, God will bless you guys. God will bless every every hustle that you guys are doing. And uh, let's just keep it one love. Keep us together. It's your boy Joel. This is Sound City. My music and I are signing out. Bah!